Да. А, а мета е презентира мета е инглезно, не го да? Презентира мета е лимба инглезно, не го да? Check, check, one, two. Okay, so, hello and uh, welcome. Thank you for having me uh, today. And I'm glad to begin uh, presenting uh, what me, uh, Sever Bedea, and Dr. Krishan have managed to create together. The short study into the changing nature of money. So, uh, the pa this paper consists of the following topics of interest that I shall be showcasing today. The description of uh, the phenomenon, uh, the factors affecting the changing nature of money, the opportunities associated with the phenomenon and the effects on uh, management, as well as conclusions. Feel free to raise your hand uh, for any questions you might have during the presentation. I, also, uh, I shall be glad to answer them as well. So let us begin with a short introduction into the subject. So many of you are probably acquainted with uh, the nature of money and what it is used for. Some prefer using cash, others maybe prefer using cards. And so on, but few of us delve any deeper into the subject uh, and investigate its overlooked aspects and nature. As such, the purpose of this paper is to put on display uh, the journey uh, uh, that the concept of money and our understanding of it took throughout history and how we might potentially benefit uh, in the end from truly understanding it. So this has been achieved through ex an examination of the uh, available resources, uh, compiling the general knowledge and presenting the key aspects under a concise and productive manner. So, I invite you to relearn the concept of money. In order to do this, we must first forget, forget what we call money and rebuild our perspective of it. So, I invite all of you to take a moment and just simply forget what money is. Thank you. And then, uh, now, I can uh, fill the void of, uh, that we just created with this simple notion that money is simply just a token, uh, a representation of assigned value to something. So, I hope we're all on the same page right now. Moving on, uh, with this very basic and open-ended understanding, let us journey a bit through uh, time and see uh, and see uh, the concept of money evolved before our eyes. First, humanity adopted uh, as one of its first means of excha exchange tokens, just money, the humble cowrie shell. Maybe some of you already knew this. Uh, back in the 13th century BC, somewhere in China, before we may assume people uh, mostly use rudimentary uh, ways of exchange. Some may imagine barter systems and so on. Uh, just we might wonder, uh, although why change from the barter system to something uh, that is a token, that it's uh, the curry shell? Well, the curry shell presented some interesting characteristics, as in uh, people thought they were quite beautiful, and so they wanted them. Uh, it also helped that you couldn't really counterfeit them. You had to extract them from beaches, so there weren't so many to go around. And when one had many, it was rather small and easy to put inside of one's pocket. Uh, up to a certain extent, of course. Uh, so, they were limited in supply. They were uh, accepted by a majority uh, as a display of value and also portable. Uh, remember those characteristics. We, as we may... Uh, as, uh, as, as we go for further, uh, we may believe that other civilizations from uh, around the globe might have started using other raw goods and biological materials. But soon, uh, something better was discovered, manufacturing metals, which proved a whole lot more durable uh, than cowrie shells. And humanity went through different metals until mainly settled, settled on gold, as shown here. As a staple of commerce, and uh, due to its uh, stability, to withstand exposure, but, also, but it was also in such, such a short supply, uh, that less durable and more abundant metals were often used, but always exchangeable, creating a, a hierarchy of value within the periodic table. So basically, uh, the, more, uh, uh, the more durable and the more um, scarce something was, the more valuable it became. Uh, which means that the value in metals is divisible. Fact exploited within entities such as the Roman Empire, uh, Roman Empire which standardized metals and created coins from those metals which they were able to alter and devalue. After the standardization of coins, uh, together with, uh, with the appearance of banks, uh, came in a, a new improvement, a presentation of gold in the form of a promissory note, which links money 
uh, which brings paper to money, but money in uh, ap apostrophes, but soon uh, enough, uh, the more portable uh, paper note became uh, accepted just as gold was as money itself. The link slowly began to, uh, to losing strength until in the 20th century it was completely broken, creating what we call today fiat money. This led to a financial uh, revolution which opened money to be used as a tool of creating more money and wealth being shackled by nothing more than a, a good word of the, the good world of government. But the future brings change. With advancements in computing and cryptographic technology, a new form of money that promises promises to be every uh, to uh, to everything money should be is emerging and seeking validation well we have cryptocurrencies i have previously previously mentioned key uh, characteristics uh, of certain forms of money i would like to summarize them a bit further uh, by using a fishbone diagram or a shikoa diagram in order to uh, to understand the role uh, they play together with other factors in shaping the nature of money well, the core aspects of money uh, or its characteristics, it, uh, it is, okay, it, it's probably one of the most important factors which uh, all the other ones tie to. Hence, uh, why I put it so closely over there to the end. Um, money has to be durable, uh, durable enough to use over many transactions, portable uh, to be effectually eff effectively transactioned, uh, in limited supply in order to assign value to it. Uh, and it's also, uh, most importantly, it, uh, it, that, to that it is accepted on a, re a wide range of locations. Those characteristics drive, to get, uh, drive the change itself. Whenever society values one characteristic above another, we may observe a change, an evolution of money. The most recent example, again, is cryptocurrency. We observe that uh, people wish uh, for security and anonymity, anonymity for stability, and a coin that is not prone to rampant inflation and one that cannot be controlled. And thus, uh, from those needs and using the most modern technology, came the wish to replicate gold, uh, bu uh, but advance it within the new digital age. And money changed yet again. Along uh, those attributes, I have uh, inserted a couple of other forces uh, that have uh, been observed, uh, observed to drive the changing nature of money. Uh, that being greed, which is the um, fir uh, thirst to acquire more assets, uncertainty, which is the human need for safety, the government, which uh, drives regulation and policy within a society, and finally, the advancements in technology, mechanical and software. Now, this uh, basically uh, uh, software mechanical, what they are is just the way we make money. Can we how good can we make money? Like crypto, you can do it a, v a very good um, uh, cipher on it and mechanical how for example strong can we make uh, a metal but the more important of those is social now we also need social advancements uh, because well you can just imagine you were back in medieval times how could you explain to uh, someone living in the uh, 1200s how can you actually how, how do you actually buy a bread with uh, a credit score it, it wouldn't really work so society has to advance together with software and mechanical. We have to relearn uh, the understanding of money. That's why uh, in the beginning I asked you to forget everything so we can proceed with this uh, um, very first actually thing that we have to do in order to change money. Now uh, that we have discovered and, dis and if we have covered and described the main characteristics of money and have uh, a better understanding of it, it remains to research what the current and future state of it allows in terms of opportunities and threats. At the very top of the food chain we have, uh, so to speak, we have uh, nation states and the government which have been affected in interesting ways by the changing nature of money. Often uh, the power exerted by uh, one state over uh, others includes disseminating uh, the said country currency as a form of reserve assets for the rest, the rest of the countries. Uh, in our age, the might of the United States uh, economy has created the U.S. petrodollar, the world's reserve currency, which means that there is an almost endless request for dollars, which strengthens not only the currency itself, but also the issuing power, be that being uh, the government of the United States. Secondly, local communities have been affected by fiat. Uh, and the continuous inflation cycles so much uh, that the opportunities for wealth retention, new opportunities for wealth retention have to be created. Such opportunities are most abundant uh, at the individual level uh, as the emerging cryptocurrencies offer a solution for securing one's wealth and uh, well-being and, uh, and, and being an early uh, adopter 
of such a coinage may prove beneficial for the individual, as on top of the wealth protection offered, the individual stands to gain from uh, gaining form of uh, asset valuations as a reward for his interest and ambition in paving the way for money to evolve. As a last statement, I want to, to however, mention a threat that is uh, emerging in the uh, crypto space. And while I, I haven't seen discussed uh, a lot, but uh, some of you that are engineers might actually know of what I'm talking about. And that is quantum computing. Now, quantum computing is very interesting because right now we have uh, cipher technology, we have technology that actually protects our wallets, our crypt uh, wallets that contain crypto, millions, and uh, millions of dollars in those wallets. But if we actually uh, advance far enough with quantum computing, one might imagine one day when people will have uh, uh, quantum computings, co quantum computers, people that don't really have the best intentions. And those people can actually crack those wallets, not in 200 years, nor not in five years, maybe even in days or hours. And if this happens, we <laughs> most likely will see a very sh sharp, sharp and quick drop in prices for crypto. Unless, unless there's also an opportunity here for people that have uh, looked at the job market, you can actually see that cybersecurity is now uh, being funded. And I believe it's also because of this. We need to create even better ciphers that uh, are able to withstand the new emerging quantum computing power. Now, uh, first of all, it has been made clear that uh, the, cha the changing nature of money impacts everything and everyone within the society. So far uh, as this general statement is concerned, it would be safe to assume that managers and management being part of the society at large are also affected. The most interesting way that this may be observed is by observing that uh, now managers are having to take into account this change, this uh, tr uh, transition from physical to digital. After the new micro-regulation came into effect in 2023, mutual fund managers had to account to, uh, for cryptocurrencies and other form of digital assets. In order to run a successful, uh, successfully di diversified portfolio, and on top of this, uh, transactions being allowed in, the digi in, in digital denominations have had a large impact. Managers have to account for those payments being made, how they can train new staff for it, and so on and so on. Also, uh, this, um, this also has had an impact on the curriculum when we're talking about management. So if we're talking about university curriculums, this has also been affected because, uh, well, as initiate there's uh, centers for learning, we have to learn those new ways that are being created right before our eyes. And we can actually see this as now we have, um, uh, we have a much, for example, at Babesh, we have a more, um, uh, more uh, I would say, mm, focused, more, a more focus on uh, everything that's AI, everything that's crypto, and everything that uh, can affect managers themselves. So the, the um, research facilities have already, um, of we realized of the benefits of teaching this, we should also start doing it in our lives. And with this, uh, I thank you for being patient and uh, listening to uh, my <laughs> uh, talk to say so. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, I will be very glad to ask. Thank you. Okay, I thank you very much uh, for the presentation and for the perfect accent you had. So, it's very good. Have you been? Yeah, have you been in um, with a um, uh, exchange program somewhere or? Uh, I've been uh, around uh, around Europe and in America as well. Yeah, that, uh, that's it's why it's the this perfect. accent. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, we see we are living in a very materialistic world today, and everything is around money. Uh, how do you think the world would uh, be like without money? So, or in the future, how would you think? What's your opinion? Oh, the world wouldn't. <laughs> it's the thing is that, as I said, we actually advanced through society. We actually developed so far that right now thinking that money will disappear is almost impossible, because uh, the concept of money has already been. Uh, let's say that w uh, we've experienced a, cat a catastrophe, a apocalypse-level event, and money, uh, dollars, dis disappears. Then we can fall back uh, one 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 uh, one step backward. We'll go back to gold, we'll go back to something. So until every single last hu uh, human has been killed, money is safe, to say so. Because I have read some studies and uh, yeah, someone uh, said that uh, in the future, I don't know, near future, we had like a chip inside our body ah, and we that. don't have to pay, so we have uh, um, cards anymore. So just going to a, uh, to a shop or something and they will read the 
our this is something else. So again, money is just a concept. Fiat yes, so yes, yeah. yes. Uh, that's so it's uh, possible. It's yeah. possible that we so will we'll not have there. even the credit card. So we'll. Yeah, uh, possible. Of course. Yeah. So I think <laughs> the future will reserve us very. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.